Hi, Dr. Frank Johnson from Sports Medicine Ultrasound. There's some patients in which I choose to treat their lumbar spine with cortisone injections, with prolotherapy, or with PRP. Today, my patient, we've done all three of them. In the past, we've done cortisone and prolotherapy. Today's the first time we'll be treating with PRP, however. The linear Clarius L15 can do a great job of many things. However, sometimes a curve probe is nice to have. We don't have that today, so I will demonstrate to you how to do lumbar spine using the linear probe, in case that's all you have in your clinic. First off, it's nice to have a patient who weighs less than 150 pounds. I strongly advise if you have a patient that weighs more than 150 pounds to look into buying a Clarius curve probe. What we find here is the spinous process in the center. We slide laterally and we know that the set joint injection will be halfway between the transverse process and the spinous process. Here we see a very good view of both the superior articular process and the inferior articular process. Center guide, increase gain, increase gain. Here we can see our facet joint. Place a small amount of anesthetic in the skin little freeze, sorry. And we travel down to the joint. There, you can very clearly see the needle traveling down to the hyperechoic area of the facet joint. I'll now travel down to the next level inferiorly. This is going to be the L5-S1 facet joint. Sorry, a little poke. Now, can I see my needle perfectly all the time? No, I can't. But with practice, I can tell where the needle is traveling by adding a small amount of injectate and watching what happens with the tissues around it. So now having frozen up the L4-5 facet joint capsule and the L5-S1 facet joint capsule, now ready to place the PRP. We can very clearly see the needle in place. I can feel the needle touching the facet joint. I inject a small amount of the PRP and you can see it fill up on the screen. I make some small movements because with regenerative treatments like this, our goal is to fill up the ligaments around the facet joint and get some into the facet joint. Now we've got the needle at the L5-S1 facet joint capsule. And that's the treatment completed. Again, I wasn't able to see the needle perfectly all the time. A lot of times in ultrasound, you can't see the needle perfectly. The beauty of this is it can tell me where I wasn't. I wasn't anywhere near the epidural space. I wasn't out laterally near the transverse process where I risk traveling into the abdomen. Very safe procedure using ultrasound. The linear probe did a great job. The curve probe would probably do even better.